Progressing through its flight test certification process, the 787-9 Dreamliner is put through a unique type of testing that requires teams to scout airport locations around the globe. Let's do it. We're trying to find a really high crosswind to demonstrate the capabilities of the 787-9. We do certification flying quality tests in extreme weather systems where we evaluate the flying qualities of the Dash 9 compared to the Dash 8. Prior to testing, the team relies on BTNE meteorologist Mike Patno as he monitors weather conditions in various locations. I've been a meteorologist in flight tests since 2001. Crosswinds are, are difficult because um, it's rare, usually they're looking for 25 knots and sometimes they want even higher and we can forecast for two or three weeks straight before there's even a chance. Because we're talking about sustained winds, not gusts. We, we may only see that a few times a year. This highly weather dependent type of testing puts teams in active standby mode, also known as wind watch. Being on wind watch means that you're ready to go at a moment's notice. Uh, we're literally waiting for the winds to change anywhere in the world. Typically it's very short fused. You, you obtain a weather forecast three or so days out and you have to make a quick decision whether or not you're going. Once on location, you have to be careful because everything will blow away. The team fights the elements to set up quickly in order to take advantage of the high winds while they last. A vital piece of equipment making the trip is a wind station, which provides accurate, real-time wind data during the test. This is the wind station. Uh, I've got a uh, anemometer at the top, a humidity and temperature sensor that looks like the little feed horn here, and then at the bottom is the brains of it that includes a GPS uh, locator. Current winds are 272 at 21. Roger, copy, thank you. Throughout the test, wind data is relayed to the test airplane to ensure requirements are met for each test condition. We're really looking for the perfect winds to demonstrate the capabilities. Crosswind landings are one of the most challenging precision tasks that, a, that an airline pilot will have to perform. With the crosswind landing with a large aircraft like the 787, you come in with a crab angle. You let the nose drift towards the wind, and then as you get closer to the runway, we kick that crab out and then land a touchdown in the center of the runway. Touchdown represents the culmination of weeks of planning, scouting locations, and tracking weather conditions. The 787-9 flight test team successfully conducts a safe and efficient crosswind test bringing the 787-9 one step closer to certification. When you called them, everybody bet on what you said and, and it worked out. That's very rewarding. This is an important milestone for the 787-9 program. It's a great plane, flies great.